Email, social media, we are so connected these days, maybe too connected. While that immediate access can be good, of course, it has a downside. Technology expert Burton Kelso joins us on National Unplugging Day, or a little bit ahead of it, to talk about finding a healthy tech balance. Thank you so much for being here. Megan, it's always a pleasure to be on the show. Well, technology, you're a technology expert. I would imagine you always have your hands in it, right? <laughs> Oh, yeah, definitely. I've got my smartphone with me. But the challenge is starting tomorrow night, a National Day of Unplugging starts. And the challenge is, is not necessarily to get people to unplug for 24 hours, but to get people into the mindset that they need to tech, put down their tech devices. As we all know, tech devices are addicting. And so it's good for your mind and your body to put down these devices every once in a while. Yeah. How has it really affected us, too, um, with, with our bodies and mentally as well? Yeah, so you've got blue screen light. That is an issue when you're staring at your screen all the time. Uh, most of your apps are wanting you to connect with the pop-up alerts that always show up. And especially for young kids, their young minds really can't shut down from electronics because these devices want them plugged in 24-7. So it can cause irritability, sleeplessness, and just uh, b body shaming as well if they spend too much time on social media. Yeah, and I mean, you you know, talking about being plugged in, we have our phones. I mean, our watches will, will give us an alert, and if it vibrates, you're like, oh, gosh, what is that? I need to check it out. Right. <laughs> uh, so now, will you do this? Will you take the challenge from tomorrow, sundown, to, to Saturday? I'm going to do my best to make it happen, but I normally unplug on Sunday, so I don't pick oh. up my smartphone at all on, on Sunday. But yeah, always I do try to take the challenge and see how many devices I plug. And for National Day of Unplugging, it's more than just your smartphone. They're wanting you to cut out all electronics, which I don't think that's possible. Oh, okay. You lost me there. That's a little. So we can't watch TV or, okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> They're laughing in our studio. Okay. What's your advice for people? How can we unplug? Well, number one, before you unplug on uh, National Day of Unplugging or just during the week, you want to log out of your social media accounts and then set a vacation responder for email. Mm -hmm. uh, what that does is it lets your friends know that um, you're unplugging for a few hours or maybe a whole day. And the vacation responder in email will let them know that, hey, you're away and they won't panic and think you've just fallen off the face of the earth. <laughs> uh, you also say to get some friends to join you, right? Yeah, it makes it easy. You know, we, you and I before... The segment we were like, well, we're going to do this, but now it looks like you're dropping off because it's like <laughs> you're like <laughs> no TV. No <laughs> I'll do the smartphone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it makes it easier if you have friends that are unplugged as well. So that way uh, you've got um, some camaraderie to go on and say, hey, we're going to do this together. Uh, turn off notifications on your devices. I actually do that on most of mine. Like I don't like getting all the notifications. I don't either, Megan. And it's and but the problem is, is when you get those notifications, you're always looking at your phone. Mm -hmm. And so you to turn off notifications. It helps you start that process in your mind that, you know, you don't have any urgent reason to look at your smartphone. And it helps you unplug, too, because you don't suffer from FOMO, which is fear of missing out. And what about create tech free zones in your home? I think this is a great idea. Yeah, this is a must, especially in kids' bedrooms, no devices allowed. Uh, when you're at the dinner table eating dinner, and I hope that you do, yeah, put those smartphones down, face down on the table, so that way um, you're not reaching for your phone all the time. But tech-free zones help you get into the mind mindset of unplugging. And I hate to say this for adults, you probably should switch to alarm clocks than relying rely on your smartphones to wake up in the morning. Yeah, because that leads us to our final point. A lot of us uh, wake up right away and have our phone in our face. Right, exactly. So part of changing that morning routine is not looking for alerts on social media to see what's going on or what post you've missed. Also, it means with your news alerts, you don't want to necessarily look at your phone every time for news. You can wait till you do your morning routine, sit at the computer and do it, or even ask your smart home devices like Amazon and Echo what's going on in the world, and those devices will tell you, and it will keep you off your phone. Okay, Burton, I just remembered I have to finish a book for book club this weekend, so I'm in. No TV, no devices. I'm ready. I'm doing the challenge. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. I like it. Yeah, I'm going to try to do it too. So it's only for 24 hours, so we let's can see if it. we can make it back. We can do it. Burton Kelso, thanks so much for being here. And we have a link to his website on ours. Just go to who13.com under Hello, Iowa. This